Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. And you're looking at the Kramer dollar bill. No, this is not a finished product. This is only a test right now to see what I'm going to be having to do to make this work out the way I have it visioned. And the owner is basically leaving it up to me as far as uh, how this is going to be done. And including the colors, you know, he picked out this color here, which is an optic green pearl, which is this one, this color right here. And it's a little bit too transparent, all right, to use as a burst, especially on top of something that has a pattern to it, which the dollar bills create a pattern. And it doesn't overlap and hide the seam of the bills where they've been cut. So I tried to use a darker green, which matches more of the emblem here and then matches the serial number as far as the color goes. It's not a perfect match, but it matches a lot better. And what I have here is it comes out at night green, which is a flake paint. So it's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. And so does the pearl. This has got a little bit of pearl inside of it. So it's going to give it a little bit of a glittery or sparkly or whatever you want to call it effect but not the way this is so again this is just a test so what i've done here is i sanded the back now this whole body got clear coated after i sanded all the black off and to give it a protective coating over the original coating that is over the dollar bills so when i do something like this which is a test I could sand it off and not have to worry about going through the bills. Now, if I had some artwork on here too and I was going to burst it, a clear coat over that, and same thing, same rules apply. If I make a mistake or something, I could just get rid of it. And that's what I've done here just to see what it looks like. Now, I can still see the edges of the bills here, especially like with this wraparound over here. I put about four coats of paint on here, all right? And those four coats of paint, like right here, was kind of a dark spot because the white paint of the body or cream color of the paint kind of got sanded into the wood over here. That was something that the owner did, not myself. But there's a couple spots where I went through the white, like a little bit right here, there's a little bit right here, that I went through the white and ended up, uh, well, now I got a dark color and I'm trying to spray green over that, which is lighter than black. And as you can see on the edges over here, you can see that the, the bills kind of show through underneath that green as well. Now, the idea was just to test this out and see how it was going to work without having to flood the paint on this thing and taking forever to dry. Now, this was sprayed yesterday, and I was able to sand this today without having clogging up my paper and not having any problems. It actually looks like a brand new piece of paper. Luckily, I got the vacuum connected to it, so I keep the dust down to a minimum. So what's going on here is showing me that, okay, well, both of these greens are too transparent to fade this in, so I'm going to have to introduce another color to it. It could be white. It could be black. You know, I could have sanded this down to the edge to where, because some of these edges here meet up with the body, the flat line of the body, and and I mean edges, I mean the dollar bill edges. So it makes it a little difficult to try to hide that uh, without seeing it. And it still kind of shows up. Don't want that. When you burst something, you want to get that fog around here and not see like an edge of a pattern and then fogs into the pattern. So I want to get rid of that completely. I can do this a couple ways. I was thinking about going a darker route kind of like with the black that was already on here, but different, all right? So if I used, say, the diamond black or black diamond, which is called over just the edges. Now, when I spray this, oh, it never fails. Who is it? Cool. So when I spray this out, it's standing upright or actually hanging like this, all right? And when I spray this out, I spray only the edge not the top, not the bottom, okay? What happens is the overspray will wrap around this. And that's why this side feels rough. And after sanding it, this side's real smooth. The overspray has basically covered this whole body over here. And that's what happened with the original black. The overspray got on it and made the bills look a little bit darker. 
I'm not wanting that with this. I'm wanting to go into the fade and then have the bills kind of like pop out at you a little bit. So the spray comes out in a fan. Spray the edges straight on. And then that edge of that fan, I'll go and I'll spray in the fog around the edges. And that kind of gives me an idea of what I'm looking for. So if I go with a black around here, just on this edge over here, it'll wrap around the sides. It'll cover up the seams for the dollar bills and it'll be fogged just like it is now. If I go over it with this green here, it comes out at night. This has got a little bit of a flake in it too, just like the diamond uh, black or black diamond. Then I'll go over to black and wrap around here as well. So now it's got from a dark green type to a lighter green type because the base coat is darker. And then if I go over the whole thing with this around the edges and then use the fan edge of the spray out and hit the edge of it too, it'll have a kind of like a look like this going into the green and darkening up. I think that'll look pretty cool. Uh, I think it's gonna have another effect to it and just make it look that much more custom. Now I can go the other way, which is just using a white spray paint. Either way, I have to sand these edges down, but go with a white spray paint and hit the, the edges with the white. The wrap around of the overspray will cover up this line over here that I got from the cut of the dollar bills and then just hit it with either one of these over that giving it the fogging effect the white will fog in to the dollar bills on the edge and then adding either one of these colors here either darker green or lighter green will end up wrapping around that as well and then I'll go over it with the edge of the fan to give it the burst look so that's what I'm kind of thinking with this and how it's going to work out. The green, I like the darker green. I also like this color green as well. And I think the two, if you look at it over here, you know, from here to here, I think the two will work well with each other. Um, this does have more of a gold look to it than an actual green. So like I said, this was a test just to see how this was going to work out. As you can see, I got the bottom is nice and smooth and it's ready to, well, be worked on again. And the nice thing about with the uh, protective coating that I put on here of the clear coat, it just makes things a lot flatter than what they originally were. Say if there was a, maybe a slight wave in the sanding or something like that when I first sanded it and then put the clear on top of that, well, that clear will even it out. So when I use my rotary sander on the flat surface without the pad, the sponge pad underneath the, the uh, sandpaper, it just makes this that much flatter. So when you look at it in the light, it shouldn't have no waves or anything else on it. Kind of like this here, there's really no waves or anything else. The lights of the uh, fluorescence, the tubes, you can kind of see they're pretty much straight in a row, not wavy or anything else. So this is going to get a hit. I'm going to sand this down. And I'll show you how well this works when you put a protective coating over your artwork.
just like a magic eraser. Now again, I can't, really can't do too much about what's going on over here because of the pickup and the discoloration of the paper underneath the clear. But again, this is like fucking smooth and flat. Even this area over here is not even wavy. How I sand it, I mean, just, I know what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. But again, you know, you can still see where the dollar bill fades into the green and stuff and that'll all be taken care of. Same thing right over here. You can see the writing into the green and I don't want that. Now, it kind of be pretty cool is if I spray this whole top with the dark green and it being transparent, you'll still see, be able to see the money on there. But I don't want to hide this because it looks pretty cool with the dollar bills the way they look. So I'm gonna be back to it and finish off sanding these edges a little bit. I don't think I'm really gonna to do too much with this edge over here because I'm gonna sand it with some 800 grit sandpaper and then hit it with either the white or the black. And shouldn't, the white shouldn't be transparent enough because it's not a transparent paint. We'll see how this works out. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. I'll catch up with you later.